All right, YouTube, it's your girl, Easy Breezy, and I'm back with another one showing you guys how I killed this pixie wig install. And yes, guys, this is a pixie wig lace front unit, no hair left out. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into the tutorial, you already know I gotta announce my monthly $100 giveaway. Now, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment below, and then leave your cash app. One of my subscribers is winning $100 and all the products from this video. Good luck, y'all. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, what is going on? It's your girl, Easy Breezy, and I'm back with another hair sponsor. Now, this company I've worked with plenty of times in the past, and I continue to work with them till this day. Thank you so much, OMG Her Hair. They sent me this short pixie unit. Now, y'all know, I don't normally get pixie wigs. You know, I only get them like every now and then. But every time I do, we end up doing something helly cute. And to be honest, I mean, what better time to wear these type of hairstyles? It's the summertime, baby. We're taking it back to the 90s. All right, cool. So first and foremost, I'm taking my alcohol cotton pad with my Seabreeze or my astringent. Like it doesn't have to be the Seabreeze brand as long as it's an astringent. I use that to cleanse the application area of any oils, lotions, or makeup that she may have on her face. And without doing this though, you may prevent the glue from sticking to the wig good. And remember guys, you do not have to use rubbing alcohol to do this. Now, if you want any other alternative, try like dish soap. <laughs> like just take your rag and take some dish soap and really like scrub the application area and make sure it's nice and clean and just pat it dry, you know, but you don't want to use alcohol because it can dry out the skin and irritate the skin and cause you to have like rashes and peeling skin and it's, it's not pretty. So don't use alcohol and just do a stringent. All right, so right now I am applying this stocking cap and I already laid my layer of glue down. Now I'm just like pressing it in so the glue kind of seeps up through the stocking cap a little bit. And once that's completely dry, I can take my scissors and cut the excess cap off without the cap like flipping back or sliding off the glue. Now for all the girls at home doing my ball cap method, let's say you lay the glue down but the cap still kind of like flips back off the glue, then most likely your client still had oil in her hair that you didn't really rub out with the astringent or she had too much oil or makeup on her skin. Or it could be that you laid that layer of glue down, spread it out, but you waited for it to dry too much before you put the cap on. Because if you allow the glue to dry, then you know, that'll prevent it from sticking to the cap too. All right, so on camera, I only show one layer of glue, but I always do at least two. And for all my girls that are really picky about their glue and they like a lot of layers, I'll be doing three. And like I tell y'all in other videos, when I get the wigs, I always pluck and bleach them off camera. I know they be looking fleeky when my model takes them out the box, but no, you still have to do your own little, you know, customization on them, even though they're pre-plucked. Oche, so this is what we're looking at so far, and I'm liking the side part. What y'all think? <laughs> Fucking Steven, man. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So it's definitely giving high school boy vibes, <laughs> but we're gonna work it out. All 
All right, so now that y'all get to see like a closer look up at the lace, yes, I put makeup on the lace, under the lace and above and kind of like in between the hair too. And right now it may look a little bit crazy because really what you're looking at is the knots being bleached a little bit too far down on the root. But once we style the hair and you know, do the baby hairs, everything should be blended and it should really look natural. And the color of the lace, I mean, it's still good. Like it's still matching her skin for the most part, but you know, you can see the line, but I think mainly that's because of the ring light. That bright light up on the lace like that really, you know, I mean, it makes it show, especially on darker skin. But yeah, like I said before, once we style it and do the baby hairs and really, really like cover up that line of demarcation that you see right there, then it's gonna start looking natural. All right, so in my mind, you know, I wanted this to look like a tapered 27 piece, like, you know, just a flat, cute, pixie, whatever type of hairstyle. Now, I did not have to do this. Um, I'm realizing that, well, I realized that that day. <laughs> but yeah, when you get this wig in the mail, to get the type of look that we achieved in the end, you don't have to cut these sides. So this is just something that I'm doing because I thought that it would be cute or, you know, I had like my little hairstylist vision in my head. But to get the exact same hairstyle, you don't have to cut the sides. So just kind of ignore that part. Ignore the cut too because I don't... Mm, oh child. I um was playing too much and I was getting a little bit scissor happy and I hope Junie's not watching this because <laughs> she might be a little bit confused but it came out cute still you know but moral of the story is you just don't have to cut the wig like you can get really cute styles because it's already cut very nicely all right so what y'all see me doing right now is basically trying to comb the hair down so it's like this you know tapered short hair kind of look but the way the wig is constructed it's not parted where it normally would be and i i halfway don't know what i'm doing right now that's cool what oh is this how this one this style stay well i'm gonna comb it out after like so it can be like more fluffier but um what do you think you think it should go backwards yes <laughs> Like, I don't know. I wanna, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that looks good as fuck. Well. Okay, bet. You know what, that made literally all the difference. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, that looks like 10 times better. So the only problem is when I was trying to do it the other way, I got all this wet setting foam on the lace and the lace completely came up. So now I have to dry it. I had to like clean it with a cotton ball and some sea breeze and dry it. And now I'm doing a whole nother coat of glue. I'm gonna let it dry clear and then stick the lace back on. All right, so now that the lace is back on, I'm taking my got to be glue and remolding the baby hair. All right, so now that the baby hairs are done, I'm combing the hair back and adding my setting foam. Now, this looks way better than what the hell I was about to do.
<laughs> like i don't know what i was thinking so just combing the hair back you know that small nuance made all the difference All right, all right, I recognize this. <laughs> I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> I know where I'm at. So right now I have way more confidence in this style now than I did before. And um, this will look cute whether the hair is going straight back to the side, it really don't matter. So I'm gonna wrap her up, put her under the dryer for about 15 minutes, take her out, blow dry her and start to style. So our initial inspiration for this hair was Nia Long. <laughs> so we wanted to do, you know, just a short, cute, manageable, you know, whatever hairstyle. But when we saw the bang come down, it was like a whole nother story. And honestly, I forgot about the shortness in the front from the beginning, because when I saw how long the front was with the wig, I was like, okay, this will make a really cute side part. But maybe one day we'll cut the front and actually do like the knee along, you know, short haircut all the way around. I don't know.
All right, you guys, so we're at the end now, and this is the final result. Yes, yes, we killed that. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much, OMG Her Hair, for sponsoring this video. If you guys want this exact unit, I'm going to put all the information in the description below. And this hairstyle came out so cute, y'all. Like, girl looking grown and sexy okay and this style is going to be really easy to maintain at the house all you have to do is just wear a scarf and what take your flat iron to the bang in the morning that's about it so if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications and i'll see y'all later